Good morning, this is Mark with Ferrari FXS. We've got another little project here. We're gonna be working on a headland motor. As you can see, it is stuck up. And what we're going to do is try to rebuild this motor. I've got a little uh, setup I got from Ferrari Chat that should help us through this. And uh, between all of us, we're gonna learn how to do it. Let's go start our project. I actually got a little uh, fitting in here. You probably can't see it, but it's actually one made for a BMW that jacks the car very nicely and it fits right in the little slots for the Ferrari 355. Took the wheel off. Next thing we're going to plan on doing is removing this. Uh, it's the battery tray. And the, that's a cover for the battery. The battery's underneath it. We should be able to remove that battery. Uh, I think there's a brake duct that will take off, and then we should have access to that motor. Very good. All right, so uh, we're in the process of removing the slide assembly. So we've removed this duct here. It's got four screws or four 10 millimeter nuts right here. And then it has this clamp here that goes on the back of the brake caliper. Um, here, here are the nuts right here, the threaded studs. One, two, and there's two up front. And then it bolts on this back of the brake caliper right here. So he is taking the uh, hardware apart for the light assembly right now, and we'll try to remove the motor. So that's where we're proceeding on with. Okay, we got the motor out. Uh, it wasn't too bad, it's a little bit tight in there, but there are three 10 millimeter nuts that go here. Uh, I'm sorry, they're actually bolts, these are bolts. There's a 10 millimeter nut, this is what holds the linkage on for the motor assembly itself. Once I get those two, those all off, plus I got a couple connectors here, and this is actually a connector that has a little white plastic, I'll say cover for the lack of a better word, that goes around, and it just clips in. You can kind of see the idea, but that's it. So now we're gonna take this thing apart and try to rebuild it to see if it'll work again. What we understand is some of these contacts get all dirty in here, so we'll have to uh, clean those up. Okay. Uh, we got the motor apart. There were a couple little rivets we actually had to grind down. There was four of them. One, two, three, and four. You could see where we kind of ground, we did grind them off. And then this popped open. You can see the gasket also looks like it shrunk a little bit because it's not really doing any gasketing. That being said, I think our problem looks to be this contact right here. It's got a bunch of smuts on it. I don't know what you want to call it. It's, uh, what we're going to do is take this apart. Uh, clean it up and re-grease it and try to make everything work again. That's the next plan. Okay, so we cleaned it all up and you can see everything looks pretty decent. We think there may be a missing little nipple on here for our contacts. So the idea is that we clean this piece up, which we have already done, we'll try to do a little better, and may solder a little nipple back on there that hopefully will help us out. From there we'll grease it up, clean her up, and uh, give her a test run and see what we do. We're gonna have to do uh, some self-tapping screws here oh, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, sorry about that. And here's the other gears that I'm gonna put in there as well. Okay, so we're gonna grease up this wheel. I also put, put a grease, little bit of grease on the shaft, on this worm gear, and I'm putting a little grease here just to uh, you know, keep things nice and good. And then we're gonna try to put this together. I think we're gonna need some self-tapping screws, you know, to put this all back together. But um, I think the plan is just to grease this up just to keep things lubricated. And I'm just using an all-purpose grease here at this time, trying to not be too crazy with it, but also have enough in there. And then uh, we actually just soldered a little- Yes, go ahead, Jeff. Little uh, nipple or whatever you wanna call that on the end of that sensor there, or pickup, whatever you wanna call it. See if that helps this. Um, if not, we can take it back off. It's just a piece of solder, but um, it seemed like it adhered to it pretty good. We cleaned it up. Make sure you got to clean the grease and everything off before you do that, or it won't stick to it. So uh, 
we're gonna try all that lube it and throw it back together and see if she works okay okay so as we look at later we put a little solder in there hopefully this works for us we clean this all up uh, actually we're, because we had these rivets in here I had to grind them down we're gonna use these little tap screws and uh, hold this cover on and I'll probably use a little bit of forma gasket also on this area only thing left is I'll put a little dielectric on the top here so we can uh, hopefully have some good contacts we'll do a test run and go from there stop <laughs> all right we got the screws installed I said we put a little self tapping screws in here uh, had a little forma gasket to put around the edge like we thought, discussed before Everything should be good to go. It's going to be our tryout, and we'll keep you posted. All right, so we're doing a reinstall on this motor. So uh, he's going to point out a few things here. Um, yeah, this this linkage here is going to go. Once this goes through this hole, this linkage is going to go on this shaft, and there are three holes that are 10 millimeter bolt heads on them that that will attach this motor to this bracket, and this linkage then attaches to the lifting motor itself. Okay, and then we have, of course, these electrical connections here that we talked about earlier. Um, now we've got everything hooked up except for the arm because we're not for sure the position of the gear. So we've got our, all our wire harnesses hooked up temporarily right now. And then we're going to run the motor through so we know where the, the gear is at because, like I said, we don't know where the gear position is and we don't want to hook up and then break something and be in the wrong position. So we're going to run it through. And then uh, make sure the shaft turns, and then once the shaft turns, and we know the position of the shaft and know the position of light, we'll hook up the arm to the uh, actuator. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, so we've got everything hooked up. We've hooked the shaft up, and then uh, we actually adjusted the light with the, uh, the shaft position with the light assemblies up there. It was a little easier to get to the nut. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see that... Uh, actuator arm but uh it was easier like i said with the light position than the open here's area. the actuator arm right there if you see that yeah this is the nut it's a lot easier to work with that nut when the light is in the up position so, so uh anyway i think we're uh, done with that um, i mean if you need to make fine adjustments there's some fine adjustments on the linkage but uh, we're not uh, doing that today um, other than that, we're going to go ahead and reassembly all this. Uh, we're going to put this duct back in. It took like four screws or nuts and then uh, put all this back in, battery and everything else. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that right now and uh, we'll catch you a little later. All right, so we've got the uh, cooling duct here for the brake rotor. Yeah, like I said, the two nuts on the top, two on the bottom. Don't forget your line up your duct in the front. He's installing the cooling duct on the back of the brake caliper housing there right now. And then after we get that done, he's going to install the battery. And then don't, don't forget to uh, put your little clip, if you didn't, on the ground wire for your light. There's like a little plastic yeah, still uh, assembly that goes over that. So uh, we're going to proceed on. All right, so um, we've got our duct all hooked up and then we had the battery reinstalled uh, terminals are all hooked up so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this inner panel back on and then the panel underneath and then the wheel back on um, other than that that should really complete this um, like I said we're going to go ahead and do that and then uh, we'll see what happens here in a few minutes all right so uh, now we've got the inner liner installed the bottom's installed. Like I said, our duct is all in place. So um, right now we're going to install the wheel and uh, continue on. Okay, so we've got the wheel installed, everything installed. So we're going to operate the headlights here just to make sure everything works normal. Um, so he's going to do that right now. Here we go. All right, there you go. Up, oh, see. Work. All right, well, that Perfect. concludes this, and uh, we'll be shooting some more stuff here in the next few weeks. Um, 
please stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Have Thanks a, a lot. Yep. Bye.